Hello. Welcome. Radiant souls of the light to this important global gathering where we are coming together in these most tentative energy days after the super new moon total solar eclipse. What a week we're in right now. And you made it through. You made it through that incredible cosmic event. And now we are integrating and assimilating what comes next. And I know that you're feeling it. We all are right now. And that's why we're gathering in together to speak about it so that you understand what's happening to you is real and it has meaning and a cause. And there are solutions at hand as well. So this evening, I'm going to cover two major energy scenarios that are occurring right now. And as I said, give you some solutions that you can apply to feel good about the change, the profound change that is occurring to you on all levels of your being. So do share this live while we are live or leave me a message and I'll come back after the live in the replay and answer you then. Share it with your friends and colleagues as I've been saying over the last several weeks. People want to go in deeper right now. They want to know about cosmic energy and the path of the soul and the, our purpose and our meaning from a standpoint that they can relate to. And that's what this information gives people. It's real. It's about who we are as holistic beings. It adds depth and, and satisfaction to the journey of life and it helps us to take responsibility as well. And it becomes more exciting when we know about the totality of the soul and the being that we are. So thank you for sharing. Everything I'll speak about this evening as well is outlined in this week's tip off global energy forecast. Uh, and this week it's all about beginning that new life chapter as the eight universal year really powers up. So if you are a member of my work, firstly, thank you for supporting my work and the all new tip off is online for you to dive into and enjoy over the next seven days. Right. Two major life scenarios are occurring right now. Number one, the eight universal year is finally getting its start. Now you may say, but we are in April. We've already had a quarter of the year go. Didn't that eight years start back in January? Well, it did, but what was really occurring over the last three months is that we were still sloughing off and assimilating the huge spiritual retreat that was 2023, that seven year. The first three months of this year, you were still letting go of old energy patterns that arose for you over the last 12 months of last year. And that's why from January 1 onward, a lot of people didn't actually feel the lift that they thought they would, that the eight year does provide because they were still letting go of 2023's energy. And that was heavy. That was old ancestral energy. That was knowing who you are as a soul. Remember all last year I kept saying you've got to know who you are as a soul for you to move forward in 2024 because it's a physical year. We're seeing that. We're seeing it with our bodies. We're seeing it with our lives. It has a very materialistic physical imprint this year. You're going to change on a physical level this year. And in order to allow that to occur, you need to understand about your spiritual body and the soul that you are. And that's what we've been doing over the last three months. Identifying old, old, old patterns and they've been on the surface of your skin and it hasn't been easy. It's been difficult. It's been hard. It's been painful at times. And for many people, they thought they were going backward rather than forward. If that sounds like you, you're on track. Now, knowing this helps, doesn't it? Because when you know, then you can change it. And then you can relax into it as well. So the eclipses come along. We're in eclipse season still until late April. Hasn't finished yet. We're in the post eclipse period now. The eclipses come along and they just shake it all up and bring everything to the surface of your skin. And they say, right, identify what's going on here. You need to be stepping into wholeness. You've got old patterns in your life time to let them go. If you're going to come into the eight year in your full power, we can't be having this. 
identify it, transmute it, and then let's create the new. And that's what's ha been happening over the last two weeks of the eclipses. And so we're at this point now where everything's come to a head. As I said last week, you're going to be taken to the edge and you've got to jump off. And whether you jumped off or whether you were gently or not so gently helped over the edge, you've gone over. And we're in this new life room right now. Some people have their feet firmly on the ground and they're navigating well. Others are floating through the air. Others are just sort of stuck in the mud a little bit. And it's okay. We're all at a different stage of that process. But we're in that new life room, particularly over the next two weeks, up until April 24, when eclipse season completes. Go at your own pace right now. Go slow. Be considered. Because what's happening is that the eight year is going to start really coming in by May, by May, April into May. And then you're going to be busy because you're going to be renewing and your body's going to be changing. I'll speak about that later. But for now, after the eclipses, this isn't the period where you go gung-ho quickly. I would imagine a lot of people can't do that right now. You've got to be considered and still. The solutions to this, be patient. Patience comes when you trust in the process. And I'm asking you to trust in your process of what's occurring, what you're sloughing off right now. When you're being patient and considered and you allow this process to unfold over the next couple of weeks, then you're not going to be in anxiety that everyone's racing ahead of you when actually they're not. Everyone's feeling this right now. And you're not going to be behind the eight ball or you're not losing time if you go at your pace and you need to be gentle and kind to your body and, and your soul and your emotions right now. Do so. We are integrating. We're finding our way in that new life room, that new experience that's really going to start embedding come May. Because the other overarching energy scenario right now is your physical body. You could be in a few aches and pains. You could be feeling that you're older than what you are. And you're wondering why when you wake up, it feels like you've just run a marathon. Or as many people are saying, they feel like they've been hit by a bus. That's, that's the, the experience of it. Do you remember pre-pandemic, I used to always talk to you about spiritual flu. And we all knew about it. And we knew what spiritual flu was. And then the pandemic came along and the whole notion of flu got a little bit skewed. And we haven't really spoken about it per se since. But let's, just for tonight, let's go back to talking about that spiritual flu type symptoms that occur when we are going through huge bouts of ascension changes. Now, when that eclipse occurred a few days ago, the amount of higher consciousness that radiated through our planet was intensive. And rather than humanity going backward and being less conscious, I put it to you, it's the exact opposite that's occurring. We are being flooded in higher consciousness and we don't know what to do with it. It's like the cosmos giving you a Ferrari uh, and saying, here you go, here's the keys, go in there and, and uh, drive it around the track at peak performance with no training. That's what it's like right now. Higher consciousness when it comes in is a high performance energy. And if your body's not ready for it, you can feel like it's breaking down or you could be down on yourself you could feel that like, I'm not good enough my talents aren't being utilized so we have to get used to the higher consciousness that's coming through and it's a process and it takes time and everyone's different but your physical body is shifting and changing to come into alignment with your evolving spiritual body now this is a topic that is so important right now that this week, Sol said to me, look, you've got to talk about this more with everyone. So I'm going to put together a Zoom event just on the messages of the body and the spiritual body and the physical body changes that we're going through. So I should have that ready by next week to announce for you. That's going to be amazing for us to do. We're lining up in May. 
and May is the month where this is really going to bed in. So it's perfect timing. I love how spirit works. So your physical body is morphing and you will have these flu-like symptoms but without the actual physical flu. So you could wake up and you may have swollen glands. Your voice is trying to be heard, your authentic voice of the soul. It's being expressed. Maybe there's experiences from childhood that are coming up and it's reminding you of your restriction and you need to let go with the flow. So your body is speaking with you. The messages are incredibly potent uh, and on point and knowing how to interpret them makes all the difference. So if you're feeling like that right now, there's nothing wrong with you. It's okay. We all have that occurring. My body is the same right now. I know why it's occurring. So I'm making physical changes in my life to meld my physical body changes with my new higher evolved spiritual body that's coming through. And you'll be doing the same. So the solution again is be patient with your process. Don't be in a hurry here. Allow. Give yourself what you need. Support yourself care for yourself if you need to say no to a few things right now do so if remember mercury's in retrograde so if events are getting cancelled or if people are cancelling out on you that's okay that means wait something better is happening something else is forming that you're not aware of just yet trust 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 authenticity is a key theme over the next two weeks in fact this whole year meaning your soul the concentration of the high energy informing the head the personality the ego soul informing the ego now what a way to live rather than the ego informing everyone else what that means is less projecting of your pain on others which gets you into all sorts of trouble and then this horrible vicious cycle comes around where you're down on yourself because you've said and done what you didn't really mean but you did so out of hurt and repeated responses so we were pulling back in to be considered before we speak out of line and say and do what really we don't really mean. We're being informed by the soul to take a wiser discerning approach to life. That's happening right now. That's a solution. Let that occur. And as I said, come May, this is a month where the actual cosmic occurrences are kinder to us. So we're really going to have an opportunity to put our physical, material foundations in place and get a move on this year and see what's happening and what's available for us through our careers, our relationships, our homes, our families, our wider spiritual growth and impact on the planet, our evolution, in other words. I trust that's assisted you on some level this evening. What helps is if you come back into this live and watch it again. Some people watch it several times and as they always say to me, I get different messages every time. That's the way soul works. As we evolve, we hear different messages. We understand on deeper levels. And what once didn't make sense, all of a sudden clicks. That's what always keeps the teachings fresh and vibrant for all. I love you. Thank you, beautiful, radiant souls of the light for being with me. I trust that the next few days go well for you. Remember, be kind to yourself. Show yourself care and consideration. Love into you. Love into you. You're so deserving of all the grandness and goodness of the universe, for you are that yourself. As always, a beautiful week ahead, and we'll speak again very soon.